Okay, this I believe will be the final walkthrough. I've had this now about a year, and a lot of you've seen some of my modifications I've put on this since I've started it. Uh, but this one here, I'm about really done putting on anything else. I mean, I'm at probably maximum weight capacity as it is. Um, of course, I'm horrible at making videos, so pardon me. I just don't have the equipment. I just have this phone. But I want to go over everything one more time. Show you everything I've done to this point. Pretty much as best I can. Um, as you can see, I guess we'll just start in the front here. I do got my lights the red and green right up over there i put a pvc keel guard on there did that not too long ago um of course i have a rope that i can make it longer but that's for getting off the ramp and stuff and tying up let's say the d-ring on here inside i've got one boat cover kayak cover i do have a hammock i keep in here along with on this side back there it, somewhere this is the mosquito netting for it and this plug goes to that fish finder this plug goes to the yak power which the controls is there, which at night, you can see it lit up right down there, so it gives you a pretty good view of it. And of course, the whole system is in there on a cutting board that I've got taped down and then strapped down in there to keep it secure. And then from there, they go out to this outlet. Uh, that outlet. That outlet. This outlet, I believe, is. Which one is that? That is number two, or no, stern. That would be stern. No, that's number two. That one is number two. These two here on each side is stern. This one right here, I've got here, is usually for number one. And that usually goes to my bait tank. That's to run my pump. And then we got the bow would be for these lights. And midship goes to this one here, which gives me an accessory up here. Left it long so I can uh, just how I hook it up still debating on how I'm doing this right here but right now it's working for what I use it for um, okay so that's pretty much everything in the hatch besides my three batteries which I did not bring out I will show them to you later um, there are two of them is a 12 amp uh, amp hour battery by 
amp outdoors and one of them's a six amp hour which I bumped the two of them up and I'm still wanting to bump the third one up to a 12 amp uh, it just gives me a lot longer time out um, sometimes I have had the six hour one run out and actually one time I had one of the 12 hours run out on Okay, from there, I'll show you my office desk. Let me see if I can. We'll close this hatch for now. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta open you back up. This plug here goes to this wire here which goes to one of the three batteries and I'll show you why here just in a second like I said I'm horrible and I don't edit very well so I try not to edit next is my office desk And from that, I have, this is usually my phone holder, which I can set it at different heights. Lately, I've been using it pretty much, wish I did have a GoPro, but I don't. So just bear with me. Usually, it sets like that on there, and I can put my phone in here on a RAM mount and swivel around and got some bungees that I can use to tie down things on it if I need to put something on it or sometimes it will tie down my uh, bump board and in this box I usually have which I need a better box but uh, stay there. Right now, I got me a. Now I'm not sponsored by no one. I've bought everything on this thing. I don't do sponsorships. But um, now, if they really want to give me a boat or give me a lot, a lot of money, maybe. But anyways, got a Yak Power phone charger thingy because I rearranged how I did my phone charger and of course my phone cord and that will usually go into this wire that I said that was midship and that will go so hard to do things with one hand on there like so and I'll run that over here to charge my phone. But if I'm out at night, I put the splice splitter on. And then one will go to the phone. The other will go to this on and off switch. Which will then tie into... One of these lights which I did finally get out the other day test the night lights kind of happy with them but this will go usually on there or it can go down here too but this one here gives me a, uh, to move it around or whatever and it sets it up higher that's one of the lights for that and that's all powered off of this it goes to the midship button number M. So that's pretty much my office desk. The size, well, I put a new fish finder on. It's the one off my boat. It's got the side scan. 
and that's what gets powered into the plug that I showed you somewhere back there right there I think maybe I don't know yeah there and then of course that fish finder comes down to the transducer here onto us I got the Scotty mount ones and I have a couple of these ball mounts here which will a lot of times I set my bump board right here and that gives me kind of a little angle coming down and it sets makes it set a little better uh, so with all that that's that of course I got one anchor trolley system running alongside here and then on this side we have the transducer that goes to my Helix 5 which I really want to try to maybe get a different fish line for that this one here is an old 999 uh, side scan and then I've got two smackdown rod holders up here that I did end up bolting through um, I had one get ripped off by a big fish and I lost it got my pole back though somehow snagged my pole but I lost the rod holder and the plate everything else so I got them two bolted down and this is a little plate I made for when I'm transporting or storage in it so nothing can fall through the hole Ah, all right. Of course, we got our plug outlet for the trolling motor. I got me two needle nose pliers there, some wrenches there, and in these pockets, I put a little foam rubber and glue them down so the needle nose and things like that don't keep poking into the plastic. And I got a branch snipper when I get in close there's always usually a branch in my way I'll snip them off um, let's see I got my bait cutting scissors I got a bait cutting knife I got fish grip thing that I don't like to use unless I really need to and I got and just an extra little thing there. That's a cleat and a cleat there. And of course, I, I made these boards. You know, they are so far, they've been they haven't come off, but they're just with some strong, strong Velcro heavy duty. I got them on there and was able to let me mount this and my cup holder plus that track and you know, the zigzag cleats and everything which actually comes in handy because if not, it was just a big opening where these pockets are. And I mean, I, I need spaces to mount things. I don't need a pocket like that, which I still use. I mean, I got a scale down there. And of course I got me an ashtray, so I do smoke, I got this is a yak gadget cup holder here that usually I put my smokes in. Ah, uh, back around this way. I got ore lock. Usually I don't use too much, but sometimes it does come in handy, so I keep it on there. Like I said, I got this cup holder over here that usually got just some miscellaneous thrown things in there. Another koozie thing in here with some miscellaneous. Um, there's a plug in there, bobber, a couple extra um, hole stoppers, stopper holes. And then I, I've put these things on. They go through these little holes here. And when I come up to a dock or something or to a tree, this can help me. To, off on things 
And I've got them on each one of these. And one over on that side. And then on the seat, as of right now, I've got some zip ties in here for my anchors. And I've got a couple knives up on the back here. An extra nose needle nose pliers, which I probably should just get rid of. I got two of them up front. Uh, a couple D rings, some straps, a little float ball. Some of that really. I, sometimes I do use some of that stuff, though. I mean, it's always nice to have it. And of course, back up here again, I got Navara. I think that's how you say them. Seat risers on here. Um, got them on the front. They worked out good there, but a lot of times too, I just got a yak pack coming. It's gonna be hopefully on the front here. But uh, well, plus I got my whistle there. Um, there's a yak power button. Um, I made these out of like gardening meal pads cut them and stacked them on top of each other and just duct taped them and kind of getting wore out kind of getting a divot in there but so far they still work good so they've never popped off or anything i got velcroed on there with that same velcro um and then here of course some gloves for the fish uh, a water bottle. Of course, my battery goes in there, but this is a little catch drawer that I put on. This is where I usually keep my uh, steak out. Steak. And I put these two pieces of foam rubber here and here, and it helps it from going side to side. There was a little play there, and I didn't like that, so that kind of stops it and stops it from wearing when it does hit from side to side. And I got this, it's got a track here that I put in that's holding the cup holder. Uh, I got, I don't know who's in my ear. I got these here, there, which is not bolted in, I believe. Um... Uh, these definitely aren't bolted in. They're just in the track. This may be bolted in. But I know these are not. It's just in the track. So if I got to pull in these. And I'm fishing with it. I usually got to leave the bail on. The clicker on. Um, so nothing will rip these ones off. Same as with these ones. These are fish bite rod holders. And once again, these are smacked down. Uh, okay. Like I said, I got the two plugs I put in here recently. Uh, one will hold, use as my backlight, which... Will be this one. that sits on there like that and of course I can reach back pretty easy and spin it over to the side bank or whatever um, of course that gets plugged into here and one thing I had it and I can still do it mounted on this uh, extension and I like that but like how that holds my phone so I gotta order me another one of these pieces because I got I got dog bones and things I just don't got this part then this thing here could sit up higher uh, the height is that um of course this is my little storage box which uh, there's miscellaneous things in there there's a couple wrench pliers or not pliers but uh 
wrenches and crescent rents. Screwdriver, another whistle, aspirins, uh, spare lighter, uh, a little flint starter thingy, magnesium thingy, a couple other lighters, some extra zip ties again. Uh, Pull that out the washer up underneath the, this cover here usually sits right there, which usually goes it could go up front in the floor if you're never using the motor. That's the purpose of it, but I don't ever use it. It keeps things flush back here, and I always bring the motor. And if I don't need it, then if I don't need the motor, I can always use just that. Um, like I said, these are not bolted in. Um, there's my other line. That's where the ore goes. Yeah, I jump all over the place. Excuse me. Anyways, this is a ramp ball from Yak Gadget 2, I believe. Can't figure out what to do with it, but I got it on here. Um, just an extra one of these thingies out here. To, if I need to tie it off, I did put these two blocks of wood on here. Once again, they're velcroed on there with that. Hasn't come off. And I'll show you why that's there in a minute. And this is just another spare rod holder. I uh, don't do too much with it, but sometimes I will, like, maybe put the net in there or um, a pole or something. So, that's pretty much what I've done here. What I have added all. Oh, like I said, I added that front keel plate. And that's out of PVC pipe. Then I... Did the same thing, made one along the center part, except for I had to bake them in the oven, I could only make them so big. I'm terrible with the heat gun trying to do it, so I did it in the oven, it worked out a lot better, but I could only get them so big. Of course, that's a rolling cart thingy. I, oh, I know the name of it, but it's a pretty good cart. Ah, but so I did that then I ended up yeah you know, when you pick this up most of the problems right here it's not really right there I mean if anything when you're dragging flat or whatever it's mostly going to be right here and you can see most of the scrapes and stuff I was in a real muddy ramp yesterday that's why it's so muddy but uh did order some of the the Ky, Kyvex, I think it is. I'm trying a piece of it here. I usually have tape there because this would end up getting scratched. I mean, this piece here does not come up like that. It just stops like right here. Oh, well, when you pick it up to drag it, yeah. You know, I mean, you're not dragging here. You're dragging right on the corner of it, and. So you're kind of hitting the kayak too. So I made this piece. Just put that on today. I don't know how well that will stay on. But that's my really first attempt at this with a curve here like this. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. But that's my first attempt on it. Also got me a couple orange reflected tapes there. There you can see some of the Velcro. Um, hope I got enough video time. Ah, bugs me now I can't think of that cart's name. Well, then usually I will put my bait cooler 
It usually has bait in it. Wish I could find a newer one of these. This really fits perfect. This came off my old pontoon, the Igloo Marine 25. Everything else I find is either too small or too big, but this gives me enough room right here that I can put my box right there. Then usually my thermos of coffee goes right here. And then hold on one second again. Then I will put this crate here. Is my bait pump. Like I said, that will usually go. Now you gotta remember the battery's right there. But this guy will usually go right here, being plugged into here. And then these hoses come over and hook into my lines I got running out of there. And then my crate, yep, my cutting cutting board back there that I usually will bring up. Uh, that three rod holder here. And I got a tour over here that I've put singles on would like one more but it does give me some space to put say my Gatorade down in there um, and then here's my bucket this bucket we usually have I'm trying to get this done before the rain starts Hang on again. Then I add this bucket on to here. And I'm telling you, I'm I'm at weight limit. Um when I'm fully loaded. The water is not coming in, but it's it's about to. <laughs> but it's not so I'm still good but this thing here I'll use this bungee around this handle here and with these boards here it kind of flushes this up so he sits on there pretty flush uh, if anything so there's a slight angle going down and then usually I've got a bait bag my tackle bag is in there and usually I bring this and that and that's what's usually in the bucket and a lot of times where's my bait bag off oh. well I got a bait bag with I keep in the refrigerator and I put the ice in for my night crawlers or uh, frozen stuff and he'll usually sit here but if I need to get in here I can I can't put him back here and this will open up and I can reach in there and that's how that is usually set up besides with like I said the battery which is indoors they're on the chargers I got the three batteries for up front and the, the motor and I do bring oh, a lot of times too. If I have a drift sock, it can go in this bucket too, or a couple other places. And I bring a couple of these buckets. These usually um, sit up here, or when I got my bump board, they'll sit up on the bump board. Which I will, I'll go get here in a minute. Um, but I'll put water in this, like this one here. And when, if I need to move, I'll put my live bait, at least one of them in there. And if I can, I sometimes I will just drop them back into here. 
a lot of times that water is a little colder um, and this one here will be to usually bail this out or sometimes I can still even put a bluegill in there or whatever um, for the other pole if it's a short little move just to keep them I don't like dragging them in the water um, so that's pretty much it besides the poles that I bring the net that I bring um, pretty much it that I can see uh, let me go get that board hang on I, I really don't want to shut this guy down but if I must I will I guess it would take Save me some space, but and my little cart I made where this home is. Of course, someday I gotta get you back out, and definitely gotta take this guy back out someday. But my bump board that's usually where I keep my most important poles, uh, and that's where I keep the ore. Uh, paddle, and some other stuff. And we got dark clouds coming. So, anywho, I really hate editing. That's why I don't want to try to stop this. I'm sorry if it's a lot of boring stuff, but hey, I'm just showing you one things. Okay. course this guy will have to be plugged into here for the fish finder plug him in. but my board will usually set there all right it said then I can that there but also I usually have to get a towel and cover you know, something like that you, you know what I mean but I gotta cover that because with this being white and I even gotta cover, cover this orange a lot of times the reflection will block my view but if I put this towel on then I can see it pretty good so and that's how that usually can set on there most of the time sometimes I will have this set back here like that usually when I'm putting it in taking it out uh, it can set there, but when I'm underway, I like having this little extra space. Uh, it's like a little shelf here. Put my sunglasses up there. I can put other things up there. Still get and see the fish finder. Um, and also, it gives me a little bit of shade protection for my feet down there. I've noticed that. Um, that's why I started bringing that more often, really. It's a little shade protection down there. And if I got a drink or something, I could put it over there without it being in the sun. Um, so I do like that, too, about it. So pretty much, I believe, that is it. If you have any questions or whatever, you can... I'll try to answer them if I see them. <laughs> um, but, I mean, it works for me. Like I said, I, put, I bring too much stuff. I really do. But I use all that stuff. I hate being caught without what I need. If the wind picks up, I need my drift socks. Um, I've got two. Let me, let me open this. I'm going to set this off here so I don't have to 
take him all the way out. Okay, and here I've got, you know, I got a pair of binoculars in there. Uh, never know what you see. I've got uh, grips. Got me an anchor. I got two baby drift socks. These things are little, but they do work if I need, like, anchored and then a little bit of current. I can throw that out front and it can help keep me stable. And I got a little tree saw for little bigger branches that get in my way. A little insect repellent. Uh, little floaty thing. It usually is on the anchor. I got a little rubber mallet. Got a baby, baby anchor down there. Um, got two more of these fish grippy things uh, extension for uh, drift socks bare mm. bottle of water pole holder down there no bank fishing and that's pretty much what I keep in the crate um, put that on there So, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I do like these things when I go up to a dock or whatever, or a tree I can get extended out on it. Whatever, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much it. I'll usually keep him sitting right there when he's not in use. This little piece of velcro here when I bring him in he'll lock he ties him up here keep him stable like I said I got this little boat cover I haven't really used it yet just got it but it does fit um, pretty even fits pretty much with everything on here i will have to lower this down a tad just flip it over but it can work and it can act like a rain protector for me of course thing he'll be down in the water so pretty much it like i said there was a whistle Size fishing poles in the battery. I think that's pretty much it. Um, fish finder gets plugged into this port, which goes over to gets into that port there. And like I said, sometimes I'll uh, like these straps here. I can bring them, hook them to there. I can do that on the other side. Something like that. And that, that kind of helps stabilize the board there too. You don't want to go nowhere. I've got a couple extra longer ones wrapped around there. So yeah, that's pretty much everything i have on here like i said there's another scotty thing i can move him actually over to there um or move him over to there or put some nails on i don't know ah uh, pretty much it though uh that's him seat riser domino there's domino all right, I'll see y'all later.